Hi everyone, today we're going to be building a letter animation app. We're going to have letters uh, and they're going to be animated. So we've got this uh, boilerplate code, which is the usual. So there's nothing interesting there. Let's go for um, our first character letter. Um, let's go with A. Set font, something a bit um, bigger, as in something that is visible. Uh, and we're going to do this for a couple of times. So what I'm thinking is have the letter in there and then kind of rotate it and then keep drawing on top of itself. So remember back in the canvas tutorial, we were talking about what if we don't clear the canvas, in which case you're going to end up with uh, previous frames drawing in there, which is quite interesting. So let's do, um, I want to rotate in a full circle. So that gives us 360 degrees and 360 divided by 10, I guess, 10 degrees per uh, letter. So if we divide by 36, yeah, that, that kind of works out, right? Something like this. Uh, and then we're going to add all of these things to the root node, which is just pain, so which allows us to um, place the letter anywhere we want, um, something like that. 150 and then let uh, 150. So that's done. And we need to rotate. So angle. Angle is 360 divided by I. Now there's something weird going on. Um, it's 10. All right, let's do this angle, angle per uh, cycle. It's going to be 10 multiplied by I. And that 10 is calculated by 360 divided by 36. So whenever you change this value, this also has to change. And then we can do this as zero. And in fact, we don't actually need it to be equal to 36 because that is going to give us just the same, right? Is it going to give us the same? Yeah, because 36 divided by 36, um, 360 divided by 360 is going to give us um, one and if we're multiplied by the same thing it's going to give us 360 so 360 is basically zero degrees so there's no point in doing that what else um, yep that is the actual angle so uh, we can rotate the letter to that angle now I want to see what this looks like because I'm kind of imagining something that it's hard to know. First of all, we need to set width and height. Yeah, so that looks pretty cool, right? I think I did something like this um, a year earlier um, during JFX days. Um, it was kind of an interesting um, animation, but I don't think I've ever done this on YouTube. So. Um, that's why we're doing it today. Primary stage set with uh, something like this. Set height 720. That will give us the dimensions to work with. And this is the thing that we've done. Let's make this bigger. And then we're going to animate it. So uh, we're not going to set the angle instantaneously. We're going to actually do something like rotate transition. What's the order? Uh, so it's duration and then the node. Yep, got it. Duration, something like 0 0.2, and then the node we're animating. 
the node is a letter. RT set by set to angle. This is the angle, and then just play. 0 0.2. Now we will probably want a delay. When you have a delay on animation uh, and you have multiple animations, that looks really good. Set delay uh, duration. It's going to be drawn by this i variable multiplied by something like 0, 0 0.5. I don't know. Let's try that. Yeah, that, that, that's getting there. Um, let's move this closer to the edge of the screen. And um, what do we want? We want to keep this going, essentially. Set cycle count a big number, something like this. And auto reverse, true. So it, it keeps kind of going back and forth. Uh, there is a slight lag, which is probably um, because it's a text object. So when you're dealing with text animations or any kind of animations that use the font, then you want to set a uh, cache. Cache true. And then you want to set a cache hint to be uh, quality, no, speed. That should help with um, the smoothness of animations when um, font is involved. Right, so we've done that. So th there's something to do with delay that is awkward. So the duration... I wonder if we can just do this. So the duration of each animation is also going to be dependent. No, that's going to, yeah, that's going to end up with a slightly different animation actually. Which isn't bad. I mean, as far as animations go, that looks okay. Like some gears just running. We're probably missing some um, synchronization between cycles. Because I wanted to have a really smooth animation, but it's probably because of the delay thing. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. And now let's do the other letters. That's going to look quite interesting, I think. And then we're pretty much finished. I'm rushing this a little bit because um, I'm short on time when it comes to... Because the um, academic term is about to start, so we need to prepare all the materials for new students. Uh, how many letters are there? 26. Static final string A, B, C. A, B, C, D, E, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, I, P, Q, R, S, D, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That is 26 characters. Yep, that'll do. And we can use that to drive our loop. Do we need... Do we need a counter? Uh, we probably want to position our letters um, sort of... using some kind of distance from the side of the screen. So there needs to be some interval between them. Yeah, let's go with that. And then this is the um, character. So it's ABC character at I, which is then kind of converted to string. An easy way to convert to a string, just add a concatenate with a string, an empty string. And then we need all this for each such character. Yeah, I'll call it something different, J. Uh, this character goes inside here. 
which is actually a string by this point. So this becomes the letter, and then we are going to um, animate that. We need to position, so we need to change these values. Y multiplied, uh, I multiplied by something like 100. You probably won't be able to fit all of them on a single row. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. And now we can do something like this. I'm just figuring out an easy way to place um, the other letters to uh, on the second row. And then we probably should use um, uppercase letters. So if I is greater than 13, use 200, otherwise 100. Yeah, why is it not doing that though? Right to uppercase, that'll do. <clears throat> And then we want to translate the Y value somewhere. And they're all just on the same. Oh, we need to shift the X back. Yeah, so it's something like this. You might get also um, uh, get away with modular division. This is what is usually done, but I can't think of uh, what I'm doing right now. So I'll just do this. Um, I minus 13 multiplied by 100. Um, it's the other way around, right? So this goes in here, and this goes here. Yep, that's not bad. Now, do I want a bit more space in between them? Uh, probably yes. So, something like multiplied by 200. Just adjust some positioning values. And let's go slower. The spacing is too much, but I like the speed now. So let's really slow it down. As for the distance, um, something like this ought to do it. Uh, to increase the width. Let's go for something like this. Um, any final adjustments? Um, delay. 
Well, this uses J, right? Which is the internal um, counter. Let's do maybe um, 18. So there isn't a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, that looks reasonably interesting. Now, to make this even more interesting, you could use different fonts because um, different fonts will give you different results. So, um, yeah, just play around with this. See what you can get. Um, I quite like this thing, whatever that is. Um, that is like a bagel donut. I also like the sharp edges um, on Q. Is that Q? O P Q. Yeah, that must be Q. Right. Yeah, that'll do. Um, so we are very, we very briefly kind of um, run through this. Mostly the stuff that we already um, used before. The important bit is here. So if you're animating, <clears throat> and by animation I mean scale, rotate, translate um, any of the text objects or labels or anything that contains or makes use of the font um, to some extent, then you probably want these because these are going to speed up the animation and just uh, provide overall smoothness to everything. On that note, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.